ho, ho! Merry Saturalia! A festive holiday spirit has descended upon Cedanine. A rare winter arctic storm has transformed this sleepy village into a winter wonderland, giving the residents a coating of snow just in time for the holidays. Lights decorate the city streets and all the town can gather around the community Saturalia tree to give gifts, share joy and raise mugs of glue vine to new life. For today's Mother Day is Glue Vine 2022, Cedanine by the Glue Vine 2022 team. Composed of Melchior Dark, Hamaris, Indoyugek, Tiwolo, and. <sighs> Jack em off, whack em off. I, I, I really need to drown in some Glue Vine after being forced to say that name so many times. But uh, anyway, this festive little mod was just released in time for Christmas, uh, or as it's known in Nern as Saturalia. And it brings holiday decorations and Winter Wonderland charm to Cedanine, uh, complete with new quests to go on, new food and drinks to consume, and just uh, tons of other holiday cheer to help you uh, celebrate Saturalia in Morrowind. And now, when you arrive in Cedanine, uh, you'll enter a scenic town frozen over by the cold. Snow will perpetually fall from the sky, stacking the entire town in a beautiful white splendor. Saturalia reefs hang from every door, and Saturalia lights flicker on and off, dangling from nearly every awning and roof, covering the walk to Ariel's trade house in a scenic, colorful display. There's even a glue vine shop opened up along the town's plaza, where you can buy some glasses of spiced wine and enjoy a holiday cookie or two. Fargoth's hiding place has been frozen over, and snowmen guard the light tanks. And these festive changes aren't just limited to the city itself. But uh, the residents have also taken part with colorful Saturalia sweaters and hats. And even the gods are showing off their holiday spirit with candy cane legends to keep you in check. So you better think twice before getting into a snow fight. And uh, through it all, you'll be treated to a new wintry soundtrack by two alone. A new bit of music that adds just a, a bit of holiday flavor to the sounds of Morrowind. And not only does this mod overhaul Cedanine, but it also overhauls the town's interiors. For every home is now decked out in Saturalia decorations. From stockings on the fireplace to little Saturalia trees and gifts galore, bells of holly and just all that other fun stuff to celebrate this special holiday season. Uh, even the Census and Excise office has gotten in on the fun, with tons of decorations to help liven up this otherwise dull place of bureaucracy. And uh, do note that even the rusty dagger has been replaced with a stabby stabby candy cane. And uh, for that matter, even the boat that you arrive in has been decked out in Saturalia decorations. Uh, honestly, uh, this mod was, you know, a, a bit of a surprise, and it is just a truly gorgeous looking overhaul, full of holiday spirit with a surprising number of features. It reminds me a lot of the old classic holiday mods we used to get from Morrowind's first golden age. Mods by Karana and Princess Stomper like the holiday mod and Granny Claus' Christmas gifts. Uh, mods that were just a lot of fun to play through for that extra holiday cheer. And uh, there is just quite a lot here, from the spiced wine to new Christmas themed weapons, armor and clothing, and just uh, lots of other fun little goodies. And there's even a handful of quests for you to do here, from tracking down gift gremlins and putting an end to Grinch's plans to steal Saturalia, to helping the spirit of Saturalia present find some proper festive gear, to tracking down an assortment of miniature winter themed houses, and at helping Rudolph the red-beaked cliff racer make his deliveries. Uh, this is, uh, simply put, just one of the best holiday mods that we've seen in years, and uh, while you might not, you know, necessarily want to play with a wintry Cedanine all year round, it is just such a delight to play it for the holidays. Uh, everything here is a treat to experience, and it is definitely just worth playing for yourself. Uh, that said though, just uh, real quick, uh, this will obviously have a few mod conflicts with anything that heavily modifies Cedanine. So, uh, no using this with other town overhauls, I'm afraid, uh, though it does work with Grot Morrow and Swamp Trees. Uh, also, keep in mind, it, it does have a bit of an FPS hit. I, I, I noticed my frame rate dropped to about 14 in a few spots, uh, 
I, I think possibly that's due to the snow and the scripted lights, but, uh, you know, your performance may vary. Uh, either way, though, this is just a really charming and uh, fun way to celebrate the holidays. So that's just our mod of the day. Uh, I've been your host, Dark Elf Guy, and uh, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas to all. I'll see you all next time.